what does sustainability really mean? Like, why are we doing this? And when I explain the why and why we're doing this and how the customer is really driving this, I, I think a, a lot of people understood that. Uh, you know, there was about, I don't know, 14, 1,500 uh, ranchers here today. And they were all very, very engaged in, because that's their livelihood. And they want to be able to help form what that sustainability aspect looks like. I think we're all learning about sustainability, especially when it comes to beef. And one of the things that Bob uh, so very well alluded to was the collaboration of defining what that means. We run restaurants, you raise cattle. We need to work together to figure out even what the universal definition of sustainable beef is. That's why we formed a global roundtable for sustainable beef. And when I say we, it's a collective we. Please Google the Global Roundtable for Sustainable Beef. Find out all the people and organizations that are part of it, including the NCBA, including Walmart, Cargill, and others. All working together rationally and scientifically to come up with uh, principles and criteria to define sustainable beef for our future. I really enjoyed the presentation. I like to see uh, our end users like McDonald's come back to, to what I call grassroots and try to work with our industry. We're watching with great interest this uh, global uh, partnership that McDonald's is part of and we believe that we as individual beef producers have got to be at that table. My family is a seed stock and cow-calf producer so we're off on the other end of the spectrum from where Bob and McDonald's is but you know we're all in the food business and um, it needs to be sustainable for all of us. I, I know I know McDonald's is going to be looking after us uh, and they don't want to make any rules that are detrimental to to the rancher in the country. So I, I'm glad to see that NCBA is, has a seat at the table so we can discuss that. This is really a conversation. It's not just a here's here's the criteria and that's it. Most of us, 100% of what we're doing, we can tell our story. We need to, we don't only need to tell our story, but we need to prove what we're doing. As a producer, I'm ready for reasonable transparency. I'm ready for responsibility. Um, I think that's the very least that, that I owe that family that's buying a meal for their children. You know, this journey of sustainable beef is not going to happen by McDonald's alone. It's going to be by all of us together. Our next steps after today is to continue to uh, work together probably more so than ever. I mean, I'm really energized coming out of this day with uh, the beef industry, knowing that they're willing to step up and collaborate. One of my main messages today was that we're gonna collaborate, not mandate. So I think, you know, we have a, a challenge at McDonald's to continue to have that philosophy of working together. Uh, and our next steps is to uh, engage more and more to be part of the solution with those that are in the beef industry.